everybody welcome back this is another edition of whiskey talks we'll try this outside i have some branches to burn got a fire going but might as well smoke a cigar while i'm at it so let's see how this holds up outside so today's cigar is a monte cristo number five it's a small cigar but this is kind of my commitment when it comes to that i'm not a huge smoker so I don't want to be out here for hours this is you know I don't know 20 minutes and that's enough time to talk to you guys burn some wood sit in some ash apparently and uh, then crack on with everything that I've got to do and just candidly it's only a little after four this is earlier than I typically like to drink but I uh, want to get the most of the sunlight go ahead and do this before night falls so without any further ado, let's get started. So today's malt, Glenlivet Founders Reserve American Oak Selection. Uh, full disclosure, this is not a bottle I would typically pick up, but a friend gave it to me for my birthday, so many thanks. And uh, as you can see, we've almost concluded our business with this bottle, so I figured we'll go ahead and take out two birds with one stone knock this off and uh, carry on with uh, our thoughts. So with that said, first things first, right? Eh, we'll do a conservative pour. Turn it around for you. Cheers. Thanks for tuning in. Not bad. Again, uh, this is not a bottle that I would typically pick up, but I'm glad that I did. It's pretty pleasant. I'd say it's a good, uh, I was going to say middle of the road, but I don't know if that's the right expression or what I'm trying to express, I would say. This is... Uh, An inoffensive scotch is the way I would state it, meaning that if you're not a big scotch drinker, uh, I would recommend this if you want to get your toes wet, dip your toes in the water, as opposed to jumping in with a Ardbeg Oogadal or something like that. This will this will not scare you off. So if you drink it, enjoy. And again, cheers. With that said, let's go ahead and light up this stogie. I'll have to reach over here. If you can't tell, this is not my normal setup. I adjusted for the camera, so bear with me. This will be interesting. I've never seen myself smoke before, so curious how that will turn out. All right, we've got our scotch, we've got our cigar, we have our ashes flying by. Let's go ahead and jump in. So today's topic for Whiskey Talks, I was going to talk about forgiveness and letting go, and that was something that was on my mind probably two weeks ago now around the holidays but since that time that has passed and it's not as pressing as it was and what I found myself thinking about more is time time management what we're doing in this life and bear with me I know this is a stretch you know we don't always have to talk about cars and bikes and wrenching and stuff like that uh, which I hope is okay with you I'm thinking I put this chair a little close, but we'll, we'll let it play out. If I catch on fire, that'll make for entertainment, right? So uh, time and time management. And what we're doing with our lives. 
So let me preface this with uh, stating if this damn piece of ash will move. Yeah, I got to scoot this back. <clears throat> Now, I knew it was going to be windy, but uh, apparently the wind is blowing the flame this direction. Anyway, third time's a charm. Time, time management, what we're doing with our lives, and uh, preface this with when I speak, I'm talking about myself and my situation, but uh, you know, it applies to any of you, and I, I hope the words are helpful and encouraging. And I guess what I've been thinking about as the new year rolled around is what do I want to do? And I think that's probably one of the most important questions anyone could ever ask in their life because at the end of the day, uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances, make sure this wind doesn't blow the camera over. Barring any unforeseen circumstances, we all have the same amount of time. That's one thing everyone can say. You know, there's 24 hours in a day, or if we want to be super technical, 23 hours, 59 minutes, and I don't know, 56 seconds, whatever it is. Look it up, fun fact. So the question really comes down, what do we do with that time? And at least here in the United States, in America, this still is the land of opportunity and something that my wife and I talk about um, mostly with her because she's more business minded and more of an entrepreneur is a, a general philosophy that I have about the country where nobody's going to help you but nobody's going to stop you unless dot 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 you know you don't pay your taxes or something like that but generally speaking in this country uh, you know, the sky's the limit. You can, if you have an idea, you can pursue it. Now, some people will have an easier time than others, but at the end of the day, I think hard work and dedication speak more than certain advantages that other folks have, to a point. You know, if you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth and into a super wealthy family and someone literally hands you the family business that produces millions or billions every year, yeah, that's going to be a huge leg up. But for average Joes like us, if you have a good idea and you really work at it, there's always a way to move it forward. So I've been thinking, bring us back in, about time, time management, and what I'm trying to do with my life. And I think it's good to think about that every so often. You know, I wouldn't want to spend every waking moment of every day thinking about that, but obviously when I get up in the morning I want to have some idea of what I'm working on and what that's moving me closer to or what, how that's going to help me progress with whatever the larger goal is. And the last year or two years I felt kind of lost in that regard. So things have been going well, you know, professionally, personally. But suddenly, one day I realized this is our only life. And it made me think, am I doing what I want to do? And my answer at the time was, oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I was doing well, had a great job, great, great job. And had time to work on hobbies. But it made me wonder, if I went all in on certain other areas, could I be more successful or could I have the... Uh, you know, make, let, let's just be frankly, make the same money but doing something that I really wanted to do versus making really great money or, or sorry, versus doing well but spending time doing what other folks wanted me to do. I hope this is making sense or resonating and if not, you know, please bear with me.
So time, time management, where we're going in life. And going back to that statement that I made earlier, we all have the same amount of time in a given day, 24 hours. And it comes down to what do we do with that time? And that's really a greater question than maybe setbacks or what advantages are available. And I think especially for young kids in this country, um, if I could go back, I think I may have considered a military career because that's a surefire way to, well, that's a great way to pay for college if you don't have the means to do so by yourself. It's also a great way to learn a skill that could put you in a career uh, or a trade, doing something meaningful while you go to school, or if you'd rather do that than going to school, then, you know, the point is, it'd keep you busy, they'd pay you, and they'd prepare you for the future. And obviously there's risk that comes with that and a, a huge thank you to all the people that put their lives out there to do that. But uh, that's a great track. All right, this bottle is gonna have to go on the floor. Oh yeah, need to get that ashtray closer. Cheers. All right, well, let's start wrapping this up. So I see the fire is burning through those branches quickly, so we're gonna need to start adding more fire to it or adding more fuel to it. By the way, we had a huge storm come through yesterday, so this is all the, the sum of the branches that I picked up in the yard, go ahead and burn those off and gives us an opportunity to be outside, smoke a nice cigar, drink some whiskey and just bullshit. So as far as this year, 2024, I, I do want to be more consistent about uploading. And just to be candid, I, I put an announcement out, but if you missed that, I did uh, start a second channel where I just piddle on the guitar. So check it out if you're into that. And that is a good part of the reason why I still haven't finished editing episode three of the uh, Project 750 LI. But I will work on that after this. So what are your thoughts? You know, what, are, what are you thinking about for this year? Well, before we go there, I, I just was also thinking about risks and rewards thinking about risks and rewards that uh, sometimes you have to take a chance you know if if figuratively you not you but if you're just sitting at home watching TV or watching videos on YouTube all the time then yeah it's unlikely that you're gonna see a lot of progress from day to day uh, versus if you take a chance and you get out and you do something whatever it might be but even if you can only progress 1% more that day over a period of time, you'll be, you'll be able to see the cumulative efforts that you've put in. And I think starting or doing is some of the, the hardest things to do. Uh, taking a chance is certainly hard. Putting things out there is hard. Trying something different is hard. Uh, marching to the beat of the same drummer as everybody else is very easy, but it's typically not very rewarding. Uh, a lot of the folks that have done great things have taken risks and putting themselves out there or said or tried to do things that everybody said couldn't be done and sometimes that's very much what we have to do if we want to see a change in our lives so those are just some of the things I've been musing over or mulling over anyway I uh, hope everyone is well. Hope you're having a great 2024. And let's, let's make this an incredible year. Let me know what's going on with you and your lives and uh, what you'd like to see or what's on your mind. And we'll keep having these conversations as long as people want. 
So, until the next time, thank you, my friends. Cheers, and uh, we'll be seeing you. Have a good one.